Welcome to this short video presenting some of the new features of Benita 711. Follow me to learn what you need to know about the powerful documentation generation of your Benita project. In this video, I will explain this new Benita 711 feature, which allows you to share project information with people who don't have Benita Studio or with users from other organizations. How does it work? First, we'll see how the documentation generator works. This generator retrieves all the information available in Benita Studio and returns it as a document in the ASCII Doctor format. Description fields have been added for objects, indexes, business data model queries, parameters, and contracts. Benita can be used with the GraphWiz add-on, which needs to be installed first to visualize the organization or the BDM in the form of UML diagrams. How to use it? Well, we believe that having clear and complete documentation at each stage of the project helps the project team to work together. During the design phase, when the team starts working on the process definitions, including the data model, documentation helps to detect errors early and to get feedback from users who aren't working in Bonita Studio. During the development phases, documentation makes it easier to share project elements and more easily integrate new members into the IT team. Finally, after production and before the next iteration, documentation provides a clear basis for future improvements. Now I'll show you how to create and use project documentation. First, generate the documentation either from the menu by clicking on Generate Documentation or by right-clicking on the project Documentation Generate Documentation. I'll tell you more about the customization possibilities later. The generated documentation contains a README and ASCII doc, an MD format for easy integration in GitHub. On the left side, you can see the document in ASCII doc, and on the right side, a preview of the document. You can open the same preview in your browser or to make a PDF export in one click. We can also add an interactive table of contents, which makes it easier to navigate through the document. And you can display the document horizontally or vertically, or even delete the preview panel. We all know that in most cases, we need to customize the documents in some way. It's easy to do this using the templates on which the documentation generator is based. By right-clicking on the Documentation Customize Template, you can directly access the structure of the proposed templates. It's displayed in a tree and by artifact typology to facilitate modifications in their application. For example, if I want to change the level of titles, I can do this in the master template so that the change is reflected everywhere. Likewise, I may want to change the display order or add display properties on certain parts, like here for example. Once the document is finalized, it's exported like any other resource with Git and can be found as README in the dedicated directory under GitHub. This ends the overview of the Project Documentation Generator. Feel free to consult the documentation for more detail. There are also many of the other features of Benita 711 that you can find in the general presentation video.